So let's fall away with the first one. Our first question is on the screen. It was sent to us by Sylvia Squire. Sylvia, thank you for this question. There's a little trick here. They ask us, they give us the functions diagram over here, the cubic, but they give us the equation in that form over there. Now they're asking us, what is the value of A, B, and C? If you notice in the equation, they left out those values. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's analyze our diagram first. Here we have a root of multiplicity 2 because it touches the x-axis, folks. So if this is f of x and it does that, this will be the factor x minus 4 squared, a root of multiplicity 2. Those are usually x-intercepts as well as turning points. Okay, and the next one, the one they gave us before x equal to 4 is x minus 1, and that's just a straight cut through the axis. So we're going to work with it as a factor x minus 1. Now, don't go and try and solve simultaneous equations here, Sylvia. It's very, very clear you've got three variables, so you need three equations. If you're going to try simultaneous equations, it's going to take you close to 23 steps to answer this question, and it's a four-line answer. How do I know that? Let's see. By the way the graph has been given, we know that f of x is given by x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 4 all squared. So all I have to do is I have to square out that second bracket and distribute the x minus 1. So x squared minus 8x plus 16. I move in with the x. I get x cubed minus x squared minus 8x squared plus 8 x plus 16x and then the final negative 16 at the end. Now all you do is clean it up a bit. You get minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 16. And look at that, Sylvia. There's your value for A. A is minus 9, B is equal to 24, and C is equal to minus 16. You just had to recognize, folks, the form in which the information was given on the diagram, number one. And number two, how do I use that information? So every time when a cubic comes and it touches the x-axis, you know that it has a root of multiplicity two, meaning it's an x-intercept as well as a turning point of this graph. Okay, one last thing I want to say on that is to remember at this point here, f of x, f of 4 is naught, that indicates the root, and the derivative of f in the point 4 at this point is also equal to naught because it is a turning point. This is going to become very, very important in a question that we're going to look at later on, one that's similar to this that was also submitted by you folks.